Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matt, and I am that campaign guy. And welcome back to the Roman Brutii I Challenge campaign. It has been a ruddy long time since I have filmed this. I think it's been about a month. I think this is uh, it's the 28th of March now. I think the last time I filmed this was the end of January, where I filmed eight episodes back to back. And I have not too much memory about what was going on. I think we had a bunch. Yes, we had um. We had a campaign up into Patavium. We are besieging a place, doing all the things. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, we were going to uh, take Patavium to be a thorn in the side of the Julii. Um, yeah, I guess we just sort of continue with the secret community attack now? Hoping we can attack right now. Uh, nope, next turn. Yeah, I remember, we had a, a big old battle against the ghouls right outside of Patavium. They had a massive force from what I remember. And half of their army retreated. Um, oh god, that's going to be a good siege. Hell yes. Chosen Swordsman, Warband, Forester Warband, Barbarian Kev, and Brennus, the faction leader. Very, very nice. going to be hard to get through. Um, we have a lot of forces in the area. Um, a lot of our, all of our Prinkapes, or most of them at least, survived the previous battle. A few of our Sam Knights took some damage. And we have hoplites and archers. Top of that, we have a, a reinforcing up. Sorry, a reinforcing army. Mercenary hoplites. Let's see if I can transfer those guys across. Uh, oh no, I can't quite yet. Next turn, I'll transfer some guys across next turn. Uh, yeah, I guess we just sort of like focus on our regions. Then we we'll sort of get to that siege. The quicker we get to that siege, the better. I want to just take Tarvium and then see what else we can do. Um. Yeah, it's, it's good to be filming this again. It's been, um, as I said, it's been a while. I have, I've been intending to film this for the past week and a half, but I've been too busy trying to huddle up and be warm, because right now it's ruddy freezing. Um, in case you don't know from my accent, I live in London, and we're dealing with what is known as the Beast from the East. Basically, it's continental weather in Britain, and we are just not prepared to handle this right now. It's about minus five, minus six, which I know sounds pathetic. It is freezing. It's like really, really cold for us. Um, and there's snow, which we never really have. So we've been dealing with that. Um, we basically can't compute. Everything's basically broken down. Uh, can't, do that, sir. Prepare for battle. can't do that. Ooh, Victory! Judean zealots. I love for those units. 11-7. Oh, I almost don't want to kill you. I wish we could bribe these guys and get those Judean sellers as, like, auxiliaries. It's one of the things I really do like of Rome 2. I've been playing a lot of Rome 2 recently. Um, Rome 2 compared to Rome 1 is the auxiliary units that you can get. Sort of regionalised units. Think of doing a Rome 2 campaign in the future. I would like, quite like to. Um, you know what? I am going to fight this battle. Rebellious slaves may think of victory. Yeah, those little bastards. Right, now, um, they have two units of archers, so I want to do this without taking too many casualties. So let's have my archers up front. Um, what is the command to fire at will? Oh, they've all changed. Oh, God. Yeah, I had to um, reinstall my operating system. Everything kind of messed up. So now all of my options are defaulted. Okay. Um, also. You, yeah, you got you really slow. Yep. Let's get you back. Okay. Get you over there. Go this way. Retre no, don't retreat. Please don't retreat. No, 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 no. Oh, I've moved it away from WASD, and this is weird. I have to use the arrow keys. Ah! Okay, go. I've changed this. I think I'll pause this after the uh, after the battle. Uh, right, so we want to take out these archers as quickly as we can. We're going to use... Um, I don't know your name, sir, but I will learn it after the battle. Um, you look like a bob. You look, Yeah, you do look like a bob. I'm going to call you bob. Um, so bob is going to charge in. Oh no, the archers are charging Bob! You have not met Bob. Oh, Bob took a few casualties there. Come on, Bob. Okay, Bob is uh, taking down his archers quite handily. 
The other archers have charged in instead of the spearmen, weirdly. Um, ooh, Bob has taken some casualties. Let's pull Bob out. Let's go for a nice big charge. Um, 63. That wasn't ideal. It's because of that poor charge at the start. Let's see if we can uh, charge Bob in again. Oh, what the hell is going on? Oh, I've been playing too much Rome 2. Everything is different. Charging this way. You just get out of there. All of you lot just charge in. Let's, I just get rid of them. Uh, you. Flame. Okay, I think we've got them. Uh, you down. Yeah, you're pretty much down. Uh... Sure, use your healer. And you are going to go flanking on rounds, and hopefully we can shoot them in the bum. And Bob is going to go for a rear charge, and Bob does it. Good. Good old Bob sealing the deal. Bob, also known as Obvious Brutus. No command stars. Don't worry, Bob. I will get you to be the master the master commander. You will have 10 stars blend to your life, Bob. He's a turncoat slave. He's getting there. One command when fighting rebels. He has a star sometimes. I'm okay with that. You know, it's all about baby steps. Um, right, what else? Oh, we got nothing down here. Um, Vibi is a victor. Engage the enemy. Right. Now, I believe I said we were going to um, try and secure the Roman Empire about the time of Constantine. So if we're doing that, we're not going to be taking Bostra. We're going to take Petra and hold the line from here. So if we take Petra, we can start building up our series of forts to surround Egypt. So this will be the, um, perhaps the last Egyptian settlement we take. Uh, yeah, probably is, unless they capture one. Right, now we could just auto-resolve this, but I'd rather fight it manually, because we have Cretan archers here, and they are very, very valuable indeed. Now imagine if I auto-resolve, they're going to get damaged quite quick, oh, quite quickly? They're going to get damaged quite a lot. I'd rather that not be the case. Yes, yeah, so let's fight this manually. I carry on my body many great scars. That is very nice to know. Right, um, there was a reinforcing army, I'm not sure, there were some chariots, I'm not sure if they're in the main army or the reinforcing army. Probably should have checked that before I started the battle, I'm hoping they're inside. Um, let's also get you attacking these walls, and let's get everybody else just generally chilling behind. Great, um, all of our cav, let's just bring behind as well. Stella! Um, let's bring this lot up. The enemy have brought up reinforcements in a pathetic attempt to save themselves. Well, they are. Oh, God, my crits can fire from there. Bloody hell. So, you, you just move up slightly, just so you're away from my infantry. And what is over here? Oh, of course, the chariots are near the reinforcing army. Okay, so, um, I'm hoping the chariots go inside the settlement, rather than going straight for me. And you're actually going to move up Roman archers because you just don't have the range of the Koreans. Beautiful. Um, I'll do at least a couple volleys into those Nubian spearmen. Just whittle them down. Um, I don't want to have too many though. They're not particularly valuable targets and we're wasting quite a lot of ammo at the moment. So yeah, that is a point. I'm going to start using my Koreans. So I'm just going to use my Roman archers for this bit. Right, speed this up. Our oh, good. Our oh, no, 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 no. Don't, now don't flee. Don't flee. Ah. Bloody hell, I need to change my controls. I keep forgetting to do that. Go there, please. Um, yeah, the chariots are going inside the settlement, maybe? Uh, they're derping. I oh, know, okay. They were derping outside. Out the back. Um. 14 left. Hopefully those chariot generals will come after me. The enemy gate is down! Our battering ram has done its work! Okay, there's only three left in there, so hopefully my Roman archers can take them out 
this volley? Then my Cretans won't go for them. Yes. Okay, good. Can he hit those general units? Actually, I'm going to keep one of... I'm going to get two of these units back. So if one of... Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Okay, good. The walls are down. Order your men on to okay, victory. Okay, Cretans still can't quite hit. And bring them slightly forward. My thinking is, if I have three of these units in a row, and then the chariots come, the chariots could fire on all three, and that cause quite a bit of damage. Whereas if I had one at the front and two behind, as the chariots get closer, they won't hit these two; they hit one of them. Okay. I'm just going to keep this one in loose formation. And in the meanwhile, let's move all of these heavy infantry a little bit up. Um, you, sir, are going to sit here. Now, you are our bait force. Hopefully, the chariots will come for you straight down here and charge right in there. Now, Astati aren't the strongest. They're definitely not the strongest unit in the game, but they do hold quite well. Chariots have a very weak defense, and unless they get through the line, they're not particularly useful. Or I say they're actually very useful, but they um, don't cause too many casualties unless they get in between your lines. Because the way they kill is from their sides. Oh, uh, let's start with firing. Good, so we're in range. There's the general. Let's see if we can hit him. We're not firing on the general. Oh, we're firing it here, that's why. Okay. Well, Bowman are pretty important to take out, so I'll allow you just a, a few more shots. And now you can stop. Just let the Roman archers finish these guys off. Seven, five, and they're routing now. Good. Okay, it looks like they've all pretty much formed up in the square. Hopefully they are going to come for me. Yeah, blank. Oh, slight overkill. Okay, let's see if they come for us. I imagine they should do, eventually. Hopefully, maybe. Please. Um, well, they're running around, which is causing them a lot of fatigue. Oh, here they come. And they're firing on this Estati, which is fine. I'll happily take that. Okay. And thankfully, it's actually their chariot general coming towards us. The job of the units is much preferred. If we can take out that general, their morale will drop quite a bit. Take him out. <laughs> the guy's flying everywhere. And they are signed to drop. Splendid, splendid. 45. Let's just increase the speed slightly. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Too much speed. Too much speed. Too much raw power. Okay, we're going to get another Prink Bay over this way. Okay, put them on defense. One's gone through. I think it's the actual general himself. It is as well. Cheeky bugger. Let's see if you can um, take him down. Great Wait, what? Be praised. Is it not the general? The general is oh, it's the secondary Fear general. Ah, right. Yeah, see, look, you've hold that defensive line, and most of the chariots haven't gotten through. Just those two. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. So yeah, they've the dropped quite... Ooh, what are you doing? Actually, that's a good idea. Charge through. God be praised. Take the on the skirmishers. Is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Good, good. They're all dropping. Bam. Nine. Can't take them out. Take them out. Good. 
Okay, we we're going to take all of you around this way. We're going to take that gate, and the Prinkapes are going to move on in into the center. My Korean archers are going to go into tight formation, and they are also going to come inside the settlement. Right. Actually, I'd prefer if my um, Prinkapes hold back. If they can sit right back here, that would be great. Shibai, you, you can go on. Uh, you should come back and sit here with these other Hastati. If I can just use a statty here, that would be great. Um, obviously, we can retrain our Prankapes inside Jerusalem, but I'd rather uh, keep as many alive as possible. Like, even because, just because we can retrain doesn't mean we need to be uh, using our best troops in battle. It means we have to go all the way back and retrain them in the first place, which would just be a pain. Bring you lot up as well. Okay, you're in range. They're exhausted. Wow. I guess they have run. They did run around the settlement quite a bit. Right. Good, good. 63, 33. Yeah, there's really not much left. Um, I think I'm going to use Roman archers through, actually. And then on top of that, let's just push these lot up. Um, I'm actually going to put a unit of Cretan archers right here. You can run all through. And another one right behind. I mean, you can actually go right here. Nope. Oh my god, I can't do it. Um, there we go. Maybe? Yes? No? Ah! Play thing. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Nailed it. Okay, see if you can hit that unit, please. Not quite. Just a little off. Okay, here come my Roman archers. They're actually in firing range, strangely enough. I'm just going to come around this way. Okay, here come those Nubian spearmen. Okay, I'm actually going to bring my general in. Um, let's bring you around over here, see if we can get some flanking attacks going on. Okay, we've got a statty about to fire in. This should probably break their morale, I hope. And meanwhile, my Cretan archers are going to fire a Nile Spearman. Oh, he has to turn their backs. Oh, yes. And the Nubian spearmen are gone. Flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Okay, so let's just oh, I'll happily do that. Okay, let's push up slightly. And get okay, you. The archers can just fire in on that unit. You three can form up here, and we can just surround this Nubian spear and finish them off. Uh, you go far into these slingers. Oh, there's really much, not much left now. Okay, I think we can stop firing. Okay, let's finish these guys off. Uh, you can also stop firing. In we go. Uh, please stop firing.
And we got the surround coming on. A few brink pays. Let's just uh, take out those. The flag's in the way. Um, there we go. There. Ah, awesome. That speeds up. Excellente. Right, occupy this. Right, well, we have our eastern border. I think, unless I, I'm, maybe we'll get. No, I'm not going to go for Bostra. Let's just um, leave it here. Have our series of forts, which we've already started. We've got a couple over these river crossings. Um, one here, which controls between um, these mountains. I've forgotten what they're called, and the Dead Sea. Yeah, the Dead Sea. Uh, we're going to need maybe one or two more protecting just this pass. Maybe here, eventually. That'd be a good place. But yeah, let's deal with the fallout of Petra. Um, get rid of that. Um, while we can't get military buildings, we can increase settlement to get walls. Which would be useful. So let's get a Temple to Juno. Get the extra health bonus and decrease the tax here. Yeah, so if we can get Petra as big as possible, or at least to um, level 3 or level 4, get a nice big stone wall. So whenever there is an attack, which I probably expect to be quite a few, we'll be able to repel any serious invasion. Uh, in the meanwhile, we should probably start setting up some fortifications. Um... The good thing about this is we have three of the four ports. We can't take Bostra's port, which is annoying. So we are actually going to have to have a naval presence down here. Otherwise, we're going to blockade these ports and just generally be a nuisance. General. Um, what units are expendable? None of them, really. Um, then again, I do expect the Marian reforms to be fairly soon. Um, do I have a mercenary unit at all? Orders. Damn, we have no mercenaries here. General. None there either. There's some here. General. There's some um, like have. A little far out. General. If I put you just there, yes, that cuts it off. We can bring this spearman to the fort and this cav to here. Right, so that blocks off that. Um, in the meanwhile, is there anywhere else General. Anywhere we could protect Petra? Not really, to be honest. Um, unless we built a series of forts that went round here. But this is all desert plains. Like, there's, you can march anywhere along here. Let's just confirm that. Now, you can march anywhere along here, so I can't really defend this. It's just complete open expanse. So Petra is going to have to act as a fort in itself. In that case, we should um, bring back my Brink base. So they're going to go towards Jerusalem, over this way though. Wish the roads went across here, like the... Um, the road from Petra goes along here. I can't quite reach this fort. Maybe if the roads were better here, if we had highways, or even paved roads, perhaps we could reach that fort in one turn. Yeah, the cavalry can just about do it. But yeah, once again, it's all about just, um... Oh, why have you... Also resolve. Also manage. Uh, manage this one, please. Yeah, so, um, I completely forgot what I was saying. Yeah, hopefully we'll just build up the, um, settlement over time. Get better roads. Right. Um, are we actually at war with anyone? Oh, oh my god, quite a few people. Um, Gaul, Greece, Egypt, and Macedon. Uh, okay, Egypt we've dealt with. Gaul we are dealing with next turn. Greek cities and Macedon. What is the update with you? Ah, yes, I remember. We, um... I need to just get another unit, get a peasant. We had an invasion of Thessalonica. We first plagued them, and then we first attacked their settlement. We weren't going to take Thessalonica because we want them to build up. 
Um, it looks like they've rebuilt the city barracks. I think that one was also damaged. Um, hopefully they'll rebuild their governor's palace when they get money and actually um, like rebuild stuff. So they can build us up to a huge settlement, get a um, like a bigger barracks. I could get maybe urban cohorts from there, which would be brilliant. Because right now, all I can get from this region after the Marian reforms are going to be early legionary cohorts, which are not favourable when going up against the Scipii and Julii. Um, oh, this is... Most of you probably know this because you've watched the previous episodes. Like, I have to remind myself and actively tell myself what happened. I'm doing this quite spaced apart. Um, okay, uh, town watch there. We've plenty of money for it. We've got the um, Pro Consul's Palace coming its turn anyway. Should be fine. Same with here. We've got another temple coming in. Um, I am just going to have a flick about. So, Croton Goods. Yep, yep, yep. Salamis low, yeah, Salamis low tax rate to get the population up. Uh, Alexandria. Hello. Who are you, Decius Servianus? Okay. I think after this we should get an academy in Alexandria. If we can start getting some decent managers from um, this sort of region, then we can really keep the settlement secure. Because right now they're quite small in population. Which makes it quite manageable. It's um, fairly simple at the moment. But in, God, like 20, 30, 40 years time, they could come quite difficult to control because of the population increase and lack of infrastructure. Uh, I think that's everything. Perhaps if we just go through buildings, let's... Yeah, recruit some in there. Thebes? Um, why not? Uh, bring a pay. Memphis, bring a pay. Uh, you can get an archer. Rhodes, don't anything. Um, let's get a spy. Athens? Oh, we have another general here. Colinius, oh, I remember Varus, lover of beauty, and it's a capital. It is four thousand. Jesus, a lot of money. Um, we have got a rebel fleet here, which could be a pain. I captain. It looks quite strong as well. Should we get some navy around the area? If we can build up a pretty big navy, this looks like we've started. If we can. Prepare to engage. Ah, oh, good. Okay, could we... No, we can't. Ready to sail. Oh, we, so we, we all bring this lot to Athens and build up these ships. Good, we get another ship. Two ships, actually. And you can get some more ships. And you are getting ships. And you are also getting ships. Alright, so let's just... Corinth is going to get a spy... The rest of what do you want? Um, probably want another spy. Thermon, sure, spy. Spies are very, very useful in this game, and with medieval too. It's um, the more spies you have, the better. You can break up walls pretty easily. Um, I'm actually going to keep a force down here in Petra. What can we recruit? We only get um, town militia. I need to replenish some of these stati though. It's uh, 160 to a unit. Orders. I could do that, and I could do this. Orders. Right, so you can all come up for a punishment. Uh, you lot can probably hide inside this fort. Imperator. As with you, you need to come up this way Imperator. and go for retraining inside Jerusalem. And... Probably the rest I could perhaps leave in Petra? Potentially. Um, might not need that many Cretans there, though. They're very valuable, so if I can keep them in Jerusalem, it means I could send them anywhere quickly. So yeah, let's bring my Cretans out. Right, that's a pretty decent force. Two Equites, two Astati, and a Roman Archer. Um, am I might bring some Brinkabays that down, or... Um, we have Velite, a Bedouin warrior, Velite. Um, yeah, sure, you come down this way. And Oppius Brutus can sally on back. 
into Jerusalem. Now, can we... No, please. Thank you. Good. And let's get a, another Prinkapay. Six units of Prinkapays. Yeah, why not? Another unit of Prinkapays. I imagine they might attack on the forts. Either this fort or that fort. Either way, we can simply repel it. Um, right, I think that's it. Ceasefire, give them 40,000 denarii and give them Thurbon, Sparta and Rose. They do drive a hard bargain. They are truly masters of negotiation. They have learned well from Trump. Going in with ridiculous terms. Um, to be honest, I'm not going to attack Pergamon anytime soon. Or the Greeks anytime soon. Simply because they have nothing inside Pergamon. So I might as well ask for a ceasefire and go for trade rights. If they do that, that would be great. No, um, 20,000 isn't actually that much. I could negotiate that down, though. Let's, um, let's pull an art of the art of the deal. Maybe if we go for 5,000? ,000? 10,000, okay, well, it's, there are reducing. Let's go 6,000. 6,000 really means nothing to us. I think we're making, like, 30,000 a turn or something. 9,000, fuck it, take it. Sure, and we got some trade rights, which gives a little bit of money. Uh, how much money are you making a turn? Yeah, we're making 12,000 a turn. 6,000 really means nothing. Cool. Um, and, whoa, we can take the ghouls this turn. Yes. So before we do that, let's um, cross some of our units. So you want to swap those. First we want to swap you out. Uh, you want to get rid of some of our cav as well. Those three units. And maybe... Four units of militia hoplites. So maybe get some more skirmishes. Yeah, four, four units of mercenary hoplites. They are very good in sieges. They'll be particularly useful here in holding the line. Um, I want to keep my archers... Won't need this spearman because we have two units of Samnite mercenaries in the area. So let's bring you back. I could bring a mercenary Peltast across. So a short range missile. Okay, I think it's fairly good. I think it's a good army. Right. So there's their force inside there. I'm not sure if they've taken many casualties at all. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Right, I'm not going to use Captain Servius. I don't want the um, battlefield to get too clustered. So we're going to do it just with Nias Livinius. Chosen Swordsman. Ooh, this is going to be a good battle. Hopefully, hopefully we can take this. The girls fool themselves. Right, now it says it's in our favour, which I think is about right, to be honest. Um, we do have to be careful. Obviously, fatigue is doubles when you go to a... I thought, well, I reckon it's about doubles in a siege battle. It's definitely increased. I think it's about double. I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, actually, we're going to have our Samnite mercenaries bust open the walls. Um, oh, yeah, you, so we did that. Okay, great. Uh, the you two definitely aren't. We're going to bring you back over here. And I guess we could have maybe one of our hoplite mercenaries. Sure. So yeah, you can go here. Actually, I'm going to do it the other way around. My light spearman will do this side. Yeah, our light spearmen will do the um, sort of town side. So they'll take the first brunt, the first hit, as it were. And then my it gives my team spearmen time to form up over here. Um, also bring my hoplites over here. If I can keep them together. 
that will be good. And yeah, you come down this way. Great. Your reinforcements have arrived. This is hopeful news indeed. Okay, first off, we obviously want to approach the walls and get our archers into range so we can do as much damage as we can. The king's already over there. Perhaps we could bring our archers this side. Trying to find that sort of golden spot, which is just out of the range of those towers. Maybe just there, hopefully. Okay, there's some um, skirmisher warband. There's some chosen swordsmen, and that general's already fleeing back inside the settlement. Hopefully, we can lure him back down. But they are leaving that main gate generally uncontested, which is useful. Okay, we're now approaching the main gate. This is uh, pull these archers up. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they must batter away. Okay. Our soldiers have reached the gates with a battering ram. Oh, they go over this side. So on their left, it looks like they have their chosen swordsman, barbarian, cavern, warband units. On the right flank. It's just a warband unit, so we're going to make our big push over there. Just going to move out of range of this tower. Okay, I think we're good now. everything up. His warbands are I think just fleeing back into the center. They're not quite clear. It's not quite clear what they're planning to do. Okay. Good, good. Our soldiers have done their work okay, well. Splendid. The battering ram has broken through the gate. Okay, we have one gate busted down. We can now get these guys in. Ready. Yeah, if you want to form up just there. We've got nothing on this right flank. So this, for now, is safe. Once this is busted down, we should have time for the other spearmen Great just to gods. block this side Our off. soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Okay, nothing's coming to contest it. So you can actually push up, and we can start getting some pre pays in here. Uh, maybe just two, then. Okay, 96. Now those walls are almost down. The gods have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. D doing a little obligatory dance. Ah, oh, but here comes some warband. And some barbarian cav. So let's get our phalanx down. Looks like we're well prepared for this. Phalanx down, please. And we have our spearmen in the air as well. Probably our archers will be able to deal with this. Yeah, they're probably going to round contact. They're holding. There is a lot of chevrons here. You can see from the number of little flags. Uh, let's say I've got a skirmisher. We should be able to just block these guys off. Let's just finish them off quicker. In the meanwhile, let's pull our other hoplites. Ooh, it's actually a spearman unit. Perhaps we use a prank pay instead. Okay, there's the chosen swordsman. There's the warband. Okay, both those guys have routed. Let's bring in our guys to take on these, these swordsman units. See if we can make a big push on this right flank. Okay, now that those guys are in, let's bring our hoplites. 
over here. Oh man, they're really doing a dent on my prank base. Okay, we have surrounded though, it looks like they're dropping. God, they're causing so much damage! Whoa! Dude, on steroids. Though three, but those guys, they've lost about 40 men. And they're still fighting. Ooh, and I'm taking damage over here. Ooh, I should have been paying attention. Uh, right, so let's bring this hot flight unit up. Just in the meanwhile, get my Prinkipes over here. Just a warband unit as well. I should have been paying attention. Okay, well, I've lost a spearman already, which isn't great. But at least it's one of our weaker auxiliary units. Uh, yeah, bring our hot plates over here. Okay, so we're gonna keep these two Prinkipes this way. One Prinkipe this way should be enough. Oh, we have two. We have a backup version. Let's bring over here. Good. Um. We're prepped. Phalanx down. Ah, some chosen swordsmen. This will be a tougher fight. Oh, Sam oh those are the other Sam mercenaries. I thought, I thought the fresh... I thought the other ones are routed. Those warband are exhausted. How have they run that far? Okay, well, our hot plates are going to hold. Let's get our Cretan archers to fire on those chosen swordsmen. Let's, yeah, you keep firing in there. And meanwhile, my other Samite mercenary is going to pull over in here, cut them off. Okay, and meanwhile, we're going to keep pushing around this right flank. It looks like most of their forces are over here. Perhaps we could cut them off. I'm actually going to make you run then. If we could do that, that would be great. Because they have um, infinite morale if they're inside the town centre. So if we can take them outside the town centre, that will be very useful for us. God, but it looks like they're actually pushing through. I oh, might be our, it's our archers that's doing that damage. Um, okay, stop firing, please. Yeah, look at that. Look at the number of, like... Men are Cretan archers killed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? Nine of my hot lights. In come the Sam Knights. And it does nothing. It's been able to um, pin them against my units. But they're probably going to take a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, they're taking a lot of damage. So you're strong, raw, two strong warband units and a chosen swordsman in there. Even if there's not, not that many, they'll be able to rack up a lot of kills against Sam Knights. Okay, my Barbarian Warlord hasn't... Ooh, you've moved, though. What is that? It's a... Oh, Chosen Swordsman. Thank God I noticed that one. Okay, they're going right in for our Phalanxes. Okay, great. They're in combat. Let's bring this unit around, see if we can put you here and push on through. So like a phalanx box. Oh, look at that. Our sound lights broke. Okay, let's, see, let's do it with our second unit. Yeah, they completely smashed that unit of sound lights. Okay, how are they doing here? doing quite well. We're going to take them off guard mode and they should be pushing through. Oh, no, 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 no. I want you to keep your spears down. Okay, from the looks of things, nothing else is moving. The general's there, though, so we do still be cautious. We're going to go for another rear charge here. Okay, 
good. Still hasn't quite broken them. Okay. Still broken again, it's not doing enough. Um. What about over here? God, they're actually making good headway against these uh, mercenaries. Oh, they've barely taken any damage. Three hoplites against one chosen swordsman, and they are making short work of us. Okay. Got weight of numbers here, and they are tired. The general's moving, though. Got to be wary of where he goes. Okay, looks like they're going to take out this hoplite unit. I'm actually going to bring um, my general down just to boost morale if we can. And we're going to bring this mercenary unit here to fire over the walls. Okay, charge number three. I'm happy. Well, they still haven't broken. Those chosen swordsmen are only taking 12 casualties. Okay, and our hoplites are finally broken, so let's charge in with our Frinkapes. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, right, so our Frinkapes are finally in combat. Okay, we're start finally starting to deplete these guys. Slowly but surely. Shit, there's some Forest of Warband over this way. Um, okay, we're going to need some generals over here. Oh, so we've routed one of those units. We've routed the Warband. And the... Where's the Chosen Swordsman then? There they are. There's a Chosen Swordsman. Only 11 of them left. Good, they finally routed. Oh, we are taking a lot of damage. We need to get one of you up this way. Try and block off against those Forester Warbands. God, those Chosen Swordsmen are holding. Oh, now they've gone. They've finally gone. Crap, we just need to get right up there. Finish off those Foresters. Oh, we have to be careful. There are some more... Some cab over this way. Where is the other hoplite unit? You're there. Okay, here we go. Forest of Warband is still fairly handy when it comes to melee combat. Um, you're there. Let's bring you here. you just behind. Okay, so we... Oh, how much damage are you taking? Quite a bit from the looks of things. I can't really assist you because there's cab in the area. Oh my god, how... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bloody hell, those Forest of Warband. Oh my god. Okay, um, perhaps I could bring you back. I think that that unit that charged ahead and held the line is kind of screwed. Let's bring you back through behind my troops, behind my mercenary hoplites. And let's just push these guys up just a little bit. Hopefully we can just pull those Forest of Warband out of position. Right, in the meanwhile, let's bring up our Prinkapes. It looks like they're fairly exposed now. They've committed their troops to my right flank over here. Ooh, oh, General, General's getting hit. Move you in. Actually, looks like that... Is that Barbarian going to go for us, or is he going to go back to the centre? Oh, he is coming for us. Okay. Oh, uh, 
yeah, that first unit of Prinker Phase is broken. But he is coming in for Mercenary Hot Flights, which is something that you definitely want. Okay. I wonder if we can get a general around this way. Oh, let's go for it. Let's risk it. Let's bring you over this way. As with you. Okay, you're going to fire in, and you are also going to fire in. Okay. Uh, let's bring our Prinker Pace, see if we can start taking that center. If we can block them off up here, it will stop any of those units flanking round to hit the rear of my general. Have we got any other, anything this way? Yes, we've got another Mercenary, and we have a another Prinker Pace. Let's bring all that up. As well as our Archers, we've really used you in this battle. Ooh, okay, they are bra- oh, they really are breaking us. Oh shit, they're causing a mass route. Don't break, please. 84, they've really taken all much damage. Get in there, try and surround him. Nice, Lavinius tank bit damage. Um, you can pull out. Ooh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, I shouldn't have done it, it's pulled him out. Okay, got nice to Villiers, just get out of there. Oh no! No 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 no. Okay, right. Right, pull these other two generals out. Let's leave you just here. Okay, nice nice Vince is down, but we have two other generals in the field. We may have lost our command stars for this battle. But as long as we have some generals in the region to sort of like carry on the infrastructure in this area. No, they're just routing completely. Okay, we got to pull back. The general's just too strong. Um, let's really try and take out that Forest of Warband there. Oh, they're routing as well. Okay, keep pulling back. We got to pull over this way. Okay, um, let's bring up these two Brinkapay units. Let's see if we can take on the town centre. I'm actually going to leave this one Prinkipe unit here. Okay, we've taken down that. Actually, I'm going to try and take on Brennus over here. Okay, we've got him surrounded. He's, he's just chasing, chasing down rogue units. And he's fairly tired. Perhaps if we could surround him with all of our cav. Okay, there he is. In come our Equites and the rest of Nice Lavinius' bodyguard. Is that they're waiting? Oh, no, they're not. Okay, let's charge in. Okay, charge in. Take him on, take him on. Oh my god. Oh, they both broke. Okay, no, that hasn't worked at all. Keep pushing on, keep pushing on. That did not work at all. Okay, I'm actually gonna bring you back inside the settlement. Like, come back, one of you, both of you, good. Okay, get back inside the settlement. See if you can avoid him. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, dear. Right. This is not turning out how I wanted it. Okay. Still have Prinker Bay holding that back line there. We have the rest of these archers. You're going to come up here, join the rest of our troops. Uh, nice, Lavinius' bodyguard needs to join us, as do our Equites. Okay, we have our reinforcements. They're slowly whittling in. God, 
There's that bodyguard. He's very tired. Which always going to be to our benefit. What have they got over here? Okay, I think I was a little bit too rash. I was, um... Sort of, uh... Thinking the quality of my troops could beat them there. But they have infinite morale. My general just died. So that wasn't particularly smart. So let's bring my Cretans up. And let's also bring this unit of Peltasts. Okay. So with all of my Cav here. Uphill. Hopefully we could do some, actually some saving. Some saving what we're talking about. We can actually hold the line against that um, general. Okay, you're not going to bring, come over this way. What do they have here? It's just uh, one warband and one barbarian cav. Okay, and we've got a few more units showing up on the battlefield. Cool. Yeah, that... He's just being a dick and finishing off the rest of my forces. Okay, hopefully if we bring these guys out... Um, let's go for those warband first. back in. Okay, meanwhile, you should get for the calf. Oh, here they come. Here comes that general's bodyguard. Okay, firing the general's body. Oh, they've already broken. Oh, no way. Ah, too strong. Those infantry are just too strong. See if we can kill him. 45, 44. Ooh, they've gone for our Cretans as well. 31. Ooh, go over this way. Go over this way. Come on, kill him off. Kill him off. 10? Ah, no, not quite over this way. Come on, finish him before. Yes! The enemy king has been yes, killed. okay. This will surely make his followers waver. Ah. I oh, know that was the same bodyguard. Okay, well we haven't quite lost this yet. Um, we've got another general over here. If you can just flee, get out of there. Take that over there. Oh, we've lost that entire first force. See, this, even though the stats were in our favour, it's just these troops are just so damn elite. On their home turf as well. Oh god, they've, they've got it in for us. Okay, let's bring um, these generals over here. Okay. Right, where's the... Um, I think that gate is out? No, it's not ours. Bollocks. Okay, let's generally come over this way. Oh, those uh, barbarian cab are gunning for us. Right, what else is over here? Looks like it's just this forest. Not this forest. There's unit of warband. And this one unit of forester warband. So, let's just use the equities to finish off that forester warband. We're going to have to do it with our reinforcement army. God, they really are gunning for that unit. Run, man, run! Keep the fate of the Brutii eye alive. Oh man, I knew this battle was going to be tough, but I didn't think it would be this tough. I mean, I did some stupid mistakes, but... Yeah, the quality of the troops inside this settlement. I think it's worth it, though. Oh, will you stop running? Oh, have they stopped? Oh no, they're still... 
Ah, they've, they've moved away. Good. Good. Actually, perhaps you could come over this way. Yeah, open the gates for us. Okay. Yeah, all we got left is this um, one unit of cav and this one unit of warband. And you've got no ammo. Right. Okay, let's... Oh, God, look at all the death. Oh, man. Okay, so we've got our general coming over here. We can start pulling in the rest of our forces into this gate. Have you got the gate yet? Good. Cool, looks like we've got the gate. Just check, is this one? Yeah, it's that one. Good. Right. And what else is over here? Not a whole lot. Um, it looks like those, yeah, the Barbarian Cav also run back to the city centre, which is a smart thing to do. Yeah, so let's get our two units of Pistati. Let's bring them up over here so they can, hopefully the Barbarians will be able to come for us. If we get into range with our skirmishers, at least one of our skirmishers, bearing in mind we only have, we don't have any archers now. Well, not arch any ammo. We're going to have to use our skirmisher skirmishers. One with the more skirmishy stuff, the javelins. Right, yeah, you can chill back here. Okay, the Burnsbury Peltas can go slightly ahead. Um, actually, if the Equites could come down here generally out of the way. Don't have, much, don't have long though. We only have 17 minutes to do this. God, we're actually quite tired. That's because we have loads of people in the way. We're making them bunch in at the same time. Let's just, um... Take it slow. You're just going to stop here. And let's triple speed this. There's still people from that unit. Um. We're back here. Was that last ones? Good. Let's bring them in. Right. Okay, we got 13 minutes left. Let's bring this mercenary Peltas just slightly in front. We're just gonna bring our barbarian spearmen up. Perhaps we could bring you just behind this lot. Whereabouts are you? A little far behind. Okay, let's hope we're in firing range. If you actually oh, want to stop dancing around fire. Okay, good. Looks like it was a good hit. Okay, pull back. Oh no, fuck it. You've gone to combat now. Just fire. Okay, war cry, and you can get in as well. Looks like they've all come in. Okay, let's get the other lots up here as well. Not you. Oh, the warband broke! God, if we can break that barbarian cav. Oh, 
not quite. Okay, so they're back. Let's bring all this lot up. Okay, it looks like our um our mercenary paltas broke. We have our Astati. Okay. Move up slightly. Let's get our. Oh, they routed. No! Oh, due to exhaustion, that's why. Okay. Hold the line. Damn. Okay, still 108 warbands and there's still 43 cav. Still some Peltas as well, so let's bring the Peltas up slightly. Bring the Sam Knights up, or um, let's also bring these Mercenary Peltas a little further up. God, the ghouls have really taken us to the edge. After this, that aren't... I think that's pretty much... Oh, no, there's a couple of Gallic settlements around here. Okay, fire in. This is definitely going to be a Pyrrhical close victory. 108. Oh, they did nothing! Okay, in the cub. Okay, let's bring our Hastati in as well. Okay, well, let's bring our, um, our cab up. Okay. We've well, never taken... God, our Hastati are taking a lot of casualties from this warband. It looks like we are making progress. Come on, take him down. Come on, how many left? 72. Holding strong. City 3, they are dropping. We've only got 8 minutes to finish this. Come on. Come on. 52. Oh, they're doing so much damage. Okay, good, good, good. Just got to push now. Actually, no, but that that was that's what caused problems last time hold back we've got seven minutes we do have time okay, come on let's see if we can finish this get these equities around the rear they've left the town center um you have no general anymore so you can charge in let's just love it oh, i think we've got it now almost oh, yeah, i think we've done it That'll be it. They're about to rout both of them. Yes! The enemy army is in fight. Oh my god. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Oh, let's just finish them off. Oh, that took so long. So we have our outpost. Finally. Ooh. Last one. Last guy. That him? There we go. Oh no, there he is. This is a heroic victory worthy of oh, We only took 50%. <laughs> Felt like a lot more. Oh my god. We brought 4,200 men to this fight and we lost 2,800. All oh, the ghouls under Brennus really showed us. 
Oh. Well, it's good. They're not going to do any fighting anytime soon, so we have this area secure. <laughs> oh, that's incredibly Victory! reduced. Settlement captured! Oh, man, that feels good. Also feels terrible. We lost almost all of our forces. Um, we should probably exterminate. It was a pretty damn big settlement. Yeah, 16,000 people there. Whew. Well, I haven't actually put a timer on for this, but I think that was a pretty big battle. So, I am going to end the episode here after... In the next episode, we're going to deal with the infrastructure of Tarvium and decide about where next we're going to go, because... We've taken on the ghouls. We haven't really got too many Gallic territories nearby that we're really going to go for. So we're probably going to start eyeing up Armenia. I think that's going to be our next target. But yes, that will be in the next episode. So until we meet again, goodbye.